and not me I'm about to record this while sitting on the floor because I don't have a designated space to record in my room. You want to say hi, Tilly? Am I using your doggy door as a stand? Yeah. All right. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> Most people got to the parks today. The freaking buses were running at 5.30 a.m. You know what time I woke up this morning? Oops, 11.30 a.m. It is now almost one o'clock and I am sprinting to get out the door so I can run to Epcot and literally tap in and leave because, sorry Epcot, nobody cares, and then run to the Magic Kingdom monorail and get my booty on over there so we can celebrate the 50th and hopefully they won't reach capacity. Wish me luck. Here we go. Hi there. I have a mobile order for AJ. Oh my goodness. No way. Let me check on it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. We do have it. You can go ahead and pull around. Awesome. Thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs> what? Am I being punked? Am I being made fun of? I, I can't tell if that was supposed to be cute or if I'm being punked. Um, but not me being like, oh, I have to run to Epcot and now I'm at Starbucks. It's not even for coffee. I'm getting a passion tea lemonade with a panini because I'm starving. But you know what? You gotta feel your body. You gotta feel your body. Feel your body. Damn. It's gonna be a rough day out there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but it's fine. I did bring some schoolwork with me. I brought my iPad if I need to edit anything. My headphones are charging because we are getting a good seat for enchantment. Do I know where that good seat is gonna be? No. But we're going to make the effort. I don't know why I'm nervous for today. And you know what? I had this conversation a lot actually yesterday with guests. Here's the thing. This is like a once in a lifetime deal. It's only going to be the 50th anniversary once. It's going to be crowded. It's going to be sweaty. There's going to be people fighting and being assholes because that's just how people are unfortunately. But we are going to make the most of it. And we spent all this time planning, or not planning, and all this time, you know, getting ready for it and hyping it up. And we're going to make it worth it. So we're going to have a good day. Okay. Thank you. Good to go. Thank you. Bye, welcome. All right. Happy birthday, Epcot. Goodbye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, streamers of all ages, it is 1.50 and they're letting us in. I'm so excited. I, I don't even know, other than cavalcades, what to expect, what we're here for, but you know what? If you don't have any expectations, then you can't be disappointed. So, here we go. I've been here since like 7 a.m., so. Yeah, we live very different lives. I woke up at 11.30 this afternoon and he was here at 7. So, um, send your thoughts and prayers to Nick as he works a shift tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we got lots of time to go. Lots of time to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I genuinely did not think we would get one of these. Oh, princesses. There is so much going on right now and I'm here for it. I am totally here for it. Are these new? She's so pretty. Ones are freaking gorgeous. I am so sad right now that I can't have one. Wow, okay, they're actually way more purple in the camera. In real life, they are a little more iridescent color. But like how? Oh, is there another? Oh, they're coming too close, they're coming too close. For those of you who don't know. Um, oh, I just smacked my camera. For those of you who don't know, I'm like severely allergic to balloons, so we avoid them at all costs. But they're really pretty, I can watch from afar.
is the ultimate challenge in Florida? Get the goods and run. Um, shade? Question mark? Ah. Not me propping up this camera in like a shelf unit. Oh, I'm so excited though. So it's pog juice with the coconut dough whip. Yes. And then a pineapple upside down little cake pop thingy. How cute! I'm so excited. This is like the this is the Jose one. It is mango and vanilla swirl with pog juice and a little chocolate feather. Oh, cute! And we may or may not have asked for the pog juice, so don't quote us on that. I don't even know how to get to the bottom. I gotta pause this and make my way down before we can review this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we already talked about how there's 150 different treats. I'm already full after having one. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but we just went to Aloha Isle and we got their new selection of Dole Whips. I had the Tropical Serenade, which has Pog Juice and Coconut Dole Whip, which you already know, the Coconut Dole Whip's the love of my life. And then a Pineapple Upside Down Cake Pop coated in coconut flakes. It was delicious. I loved it. It was the right amount of sweet as well as tangy. I was here for it. Yeah, I got the Jose Dole Whip. I'm not sure the full title. You can check out the menu for it. Yeah, you got to. Um, <laughs> but it's a mango vanilla swirl. It was also with the pog juice. I had to ask for it with the pog juice. It normally has the pineapple juice. Um, very refreshing. Pog juice is always delicious. Um, and the mango and vanilla were really nice. Swirl together. Yeah. So 10 out of 10 for those ones. We didn't try the other one. It was like a trio of bun cakes. Yeah. Kind of looks like little pumpkins, but you know, it's we'll cute. be back. We'll be back. Yep. Oh, they're so pretty. for the Emporium went from the middle of Main Street down and back up to Casey's Corner and back and it's been quite the time Hello. so luckily we're like constantly moving so we're already up there I've only been waiting for like five ten minutes but it's a time I was also told that there have already been multiple fist fights today and one of them in the Emporium over a Starbucks tumbler so um, don't be that person crazy okay props to those cast members they're trying to make it as efficient and as fair as possible by making everyone line up and literally handing them to you two at a time if you only want one you'll only take one but most people are getting two at a time and you know got my little my little shopping bag that was kind of crazy and you can tell like this difference between one side of the store versus the other like I am all alone over here <laughs> nobody cares about the hat sorry guys it's freaking insane all right, I'm claiming this corner. Look, we got the monorail and Main Street. I love it. Anyways, so yesterday I was helping out a guest at like 10.30 and she was asking about park maps. And so I went to go grab her one and lo and behold, they were all the 50th ones with a big old sign on them saying, do not hand out to guests. I felt really bad. I was like, not to be uh, gatekeeping these maps, but I can't give them to you until the first. Well, they are officially out. I mean, they're just like the other maps, but they just have like a new background to them, which is super fun. And so cute. Am I gonna take like five? Yeah, I'll be that person. Also, look how gorgeous. So there's this one, and there's also an enchantment one over here. They've redone some of these to look more classic. But this one, obviously. I didn't realize that Enchantment was also presented by Pandora. So stinking cute. 
You are the magic. I thought that was only for cast members. You know what, whatever, they don't care. Two bags on my shoulders for the stuff I brought and my merch. And um, I can already feel the knots just forming in my shoulders. So this is the line for the new vintage store and honestly, nothing was speaking to me from what I've seen on social media for the collection, so I'm not even gonna bother. Cause I know that'll all be here later on. I mean, the store itself looks cute. Oh, princesses are coming! Ah! You hear that? Magic. Spending a little bit of time out for the 50th. Oh my gosh. Well, so much for getting my picture taken with him. They're just making sure he's not gonna like tip over. That's so funny. <laughs> and they're just like, look. Bye bye, Mickey. Our real Mickey's in the hub. This one was for press event. Keep up, Olivia. Right, so it is only five o'clock. We still have four hours till showtime, and this is what we got. Kind of crazy. Everyone's camped out. Shout out to Ben for getting me on my favorite serotonin ride. So the time is currently 6:23. And this is where we're at. Now this is what I was more expecting, was more that six o'clock range, but you know, I hope the people that were here till 2 p.m. get what they wanted. I have finally plopped myself down. I am just going to sit here and wait. And I did bring a little bit of school work, so I'm gonna do that as well. And I did order Casey's Corner from an hour from now, so we'll see how that ends up going. But yeah, just chilling, bottle and some. But you know, if this ends up being my view of the castle, I will not be disappointed whatsoever. I know it won't be. I know there's about to be like 10,000 people in this spot just alone, but I will not be disappointed. Oh, speaking of, look at this cute little bracelet I got. This is 50 on it. Got the iridescence. And then I also got another Pandora charm. Let me flip it around. Little graduation charm for me hopefully graduating in a few months. Knock on wood. Good evening, friends. Look around you. There is a special magic that flows through this land. The magic of fantasy. Swirling with pixie dust made more brilliant by the light that lives within you. It inspires us to wish upon stars, follow our hearts, and find our happy ever afters. Tonight, as we gather together, under the spires of this majestic castle, our dreams ignite the measure to create a beacon shining out and celebrate. Was that it? <laughs> How cute! Woo! How adorable! Take a wish upon a star. Close your eyes and just believe it. You have traveled from so far. And now you're close enough to feel it.
can come true. But you got to make them happen. It all depends on you. This old town can slow you down. People taking the easy way. But I know exactly where I'm going.
already done. Okay. I don't know who approved Enchantment and said it was ready. It looks like a rough draft. It looks like a rough draft to the rough draft. Like an outline. It looks like an outline. I'm so sad. I'm so disappointed. I did not just wait three hours from that. It's just so average. Like, it's something you would have expected before Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After looks like the upgrade from Enchantment, and I'm so sad about it. I didn't see any of Main Street because I was too far up, but still, it was just so bad. And, like, I know that I said I hope that Harmonious is better than Enchantment because I would rather deal with Epcot crowds than with Magic Kingdom crowds. I didn't mean for Enchantment to be a POS. I really didn't. Like, that's not what I meant. And honestly, Harmonious is like a baby happily ever after, but with water features. And the fact that Enchantment was just so, it's just so average. The only time I felt anything was when Hercules was on because I have an emotional attachment to Hercules. That's it. Which is so... I don't know if that guy was talking to me or not, but it's fine. Anyways, it's just so disappointing. Anyways, I'm gonna go do some retail therapy because my number was finally called for the Frontierland pin trading. Is there gonna be anything good there? No, it's 9.40, but it's fine. No, I'm not bitter. You know I'm not a mean-spirited person or anything, but like, holy, I'm just so sad right now. All right, so we finally made it into the Frontierland pin trading thing. That line took about 40 minutes after I already got my original text message. But they apparently have all of the 20 original opening day buttons left, or pins left. So I'm going to try to get some for Nick and call it a night. So she has like a paper with all of the numbers of these. And then she just writes down whatever ones you need. So that's pretty nifty. That's probably good for them to keep things moving. Oh, those are spooky. I actually love that. That might be coming home with me. So as of right now, they currently still have enough of everything. For the attractions ones, they're only giving out 2,000 per attraction. And then I don't know what the SKUs are for the pass holder ones and or opening day ones. But oh, my Lanza, she just got a whole bunch more. That's kind of crazy. We secured the bag, boys. So one thing that I do like is that she has kept her iridescent shine on. It's now about 10.30. Not only that, but they've added some like details right there in the little ribbons, which I really like. But I'm excited to go to the front of the castle and see what she looks like without all the crowds. There she is. She looks, oh, hello man. She looks absolutely beautiful, honestly. I'm pretty happy with this transformation, not gonna lie. friends. Um, I just wanted to really quickly go over what I got yesterday um, in terms of all the free stuff that they gave out as well as, you're breathing really heavy, as well as what I bought. Hi Zoe, I know, I know. Anyways, yeah. Let's do the free stuff first. So when you very first entered the park, they gave us this like commemorative map. Look how pretty. She's gorgeous. I haven't actually opened it yet. I just kind of grabbed it. Um, but oh, it's like talking about all the different celebration things that they have going on for the 50th. Um, a little, a little tribute to the 50th and what it means. How cute. And then let's see. Oh, on Magic Kingdom, the Cinderella's Castle, it has the 50th logo. That's actually kind of cool. I saw that they did that on the My Disney Experience. You're really cute. This is gonna be my screen grab for the episode. Probably not, but. And then I also was that person and grabbed a whole bunch of the maps. And then as you were leaving, I have two. This one got a little bent up. Um, cause I got her at like three o'clock cause I had to leave and go check out the monorail cause Nick lost something on the monorail. So they gave me one, so I just kept it. But she got a little, a little twisted. But look how beautiful this poster is. I'm definitely gonna hang up probably this one in a frame so that it lays flat and then hang it up in my room because she's really cute. I'm really excited about her. Awesome. Alright, and then so I went into the Aporium. I really didn't have a reason to go in there. I just wanted to check it out and I happened to be walking in as they were bringing out these bad boys. You know them. You love them. You hate them. Whatever. 
the 50th anniversary Starbucks tumblers that people were literally getting in fist fights over. Like, I kid you not, fist fights. And I had a friend that works there and he said that, he got in like later in the day, but he was telling me how there had already been like two broken up fist fights and they had to like evac part of the Emporium at one point. Insanity. But it's like studded. It feels weird. Like, I, feel, I feel like I should be like exfoliating my hands on this. And then this isn't studded, but it's still, oh, are you gonna focus? It's not studded, but it's still texturized, I guess. And like, it feels normal, but super cool actually. I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would. I originally only grabbed it because, you know, I happened to be at the right place at the right time. Um, and then I ended up grabbing one for a friend who couldn't make it to the 50th as well. You can only get two per person. And they, I thought they handled it really well. They made us get in the line in the middle of the Emporium and then they were literally two, two, two. I thought it went really well. Props to those cast members. Um, I also <laughs> grabbed, I didn't know they were making cured cups for the 50th. Like, look how freaking fun. And it's a dark roast. I only grabbed 12. Mostly because the way I drink coffee is that I put it in the Keurig thing, I brew it, I freeze it for a little while to make it cold so I can have iced coffee, and then I douse it in my oatmeal cookie creamer. Because I don't like coffee. So I'm not even going to know what this tastes like. I might try like a sip or two with it being black just to see if I like it or not. But it's going to end up tasting like my go-to creamer anyways. So, but she's cute. Like, I love her. I grabbed one for me and then one for my friend who was working the 50th, so she couldn't grab one for herself. But I think this one oh, is so cute. It's just very clean. I think that's why I like this one so much. Just very, very, very clean. Um, I grabbed one of these for me and one for my mom because it has Tinkerbell on it. And I wish it said Main Street. I don't know why Main Street didn't have one of these. But these are like the opening day attraction pins. And there were, I think, 25 of them. But each one only had like 2,000. So that was wild. Um, and then I got a Haunted Mansion one. Just because I love Haunted. She's a cutie. But no, she's like so pretty. Excuse me. And I also grabbed the pass holder ones. Um, again, for me and my mom. But I really like this. I think it's so clean yet festive. It doesn't look cheap and or feel cheap to me. You know what I mean? Like I feel like some merchandise you're just like what but no i think this one's they did good on this one very pretty and then was that all i got at the pin store yeah i got some for nick um because he was working the 50th so i grabbed the ones that he needed because again there was only 2,000 of them and the way it worked is there was like a virtual queue we entered the virtual queue at like three o'clock and there were 700 people in front of us but I ended up getting my text message like right after fireworks and then I had to go to Frontierland trading pins and then I waited for like another 40 minutes in line, which like wasn't a big deal. I was so exhausted. I wasn't going to do anything anyway. So it was nice to let the lines die down at the monorail. <laughs> but yeah, and these aren't 50th stuff, but I did get them and I wanted to open them. So um, I already opened one pack of these a few weeks ago for the Hercules mystery pins. And then I saw them there. So I just got two more. And if I get any, I want to get back into pin trading. That's the thing. Like, I don't even love pins that much. I just love Hercules. But, like, working concierge and doing pin trading with people and, like, seeing the cute things that go on the pin board, I'm like, I want to do that. Okay. I'm not. I mean, do I hope I get the ones I want? Yes, but I'm not going to, like, make a big fuss about it. Yeah. Okay. Our blacksmith friend is probably going to go onto a trading board soon. <laughs> One time we watched Hercules and I was like obsessed with this guy for some reason. Like his vibes in the background of the scene. I was just like, he looks like he's having a good time. He's doing the most. What else? Who do, well, of course I want Hades or like Zeus or them, but I don't think I have any duplicates right now. I know I have Aphrodite. I don't know who else I have up there. Yay! <laughs> okay, I did want Zeus. I love that. Oh, that's exciting. Okay. I don't really... Unless it's Hades. Who is it? Oh. Not gonna lie. Don't remember her in the movie. Don't know who she is. 
She looks like the goddess of corn. I don't know. That was just my first guess. I don't really know anything about Greek mythology. I just really like Hercules. So, cute! Alright, and then I got the Safari pack. I didn't even know they had these. I'm so excited. But like, here's all the options. I kind of want the official tour guide one. And then, honestly, they're all so cute. Like, I don't really care which ones I get. Oh, it's got a covering around it. That's really random. Oh, mini! Oh, this will go with my other mini Mouse Safari one. Maybe her and I are just meant to be, like, Safari buddies. Alright, last one. How is this video already nine minutes? Oh my god. Because it's so hard to open these when they have that, like, extra protected layer. Oh, we didn't like that. We did not like that at all. Alright. I haven't even seen this yet because it still has a protective layer on it. Oh, Expert Explorer. That's cute. Donald being a doofus, as always. Cute. Okay. That was a good little haul. I think I'm most excited for the poster, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Don't step on the poster, Tilly. Mm-mm. No. Like, she's so pretty. Do you have something you want to say? No. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that my bed isn't made and that there's an egg carton container down there. Uh, we put peanut butter in it to keep her um, occupied. You're really cute. I love you. Oh, no, you want to play, don't you? You want to play, don't you? <gasps> oh, speaking of, wait a minute. That just reminded me of something else that I got. It's a little, like, it was, like, one of those $10 cheapo, um things that you get, you know, bracelets. Why am I so out of it today? Like for the kids. But I actually loved it. It has this like little 50th thing. Oh, that's backwards. 50th and as like a Mickey one and like all, it just like, it matched my outfit. Stop that right now. You can have the sock. I don't care. Just like, take the, <laughs> she was like taking the other thing. I actually got one more thing. I went to Pandora to go look at the 50th set that they have, and I honestly didn't like it. And they had a castle, but I didn't like it either. Like, it wasn't iridescent or anything. It just had, like, random pastels kind of painted on it. But I did get the graduation Mickey cap because I am hopefully graduating here. And this is kind of like my blue Pandora charm one. I mean, it's the only one I have, but it has Space Mountain. It has the Winter Magic limited edition one. Now my graduation cap, and Madame Leota is upside down. I'm going to have to fix that. But they're so cute. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Say goodbye, Tilly. we got to clean our room and take our quiz before Wesley gets home from work. Bye.